Welcome back to Lightroom Classic 2020. And today we are going to take a look at this guy right here, which is your crop tool. And you wouldn't think the crop tool would be that complicated that it needs its own tutorial, but we're gonna give it one today. To activate or crop your image, all you really need to do is come here and click this button. That simple, you come to a corner, you can drag and it changes the crop. By default, the aspect ratio is locked inside of Lightroom Classic. This means that the original ratio of a 35 millimeter image is two by three or four by six in that ratio. And it is locking that ratio. So as I drag this image, and resize it, it's always going to be a two by three ratio. If you want to freeform or kind of change that ratio, you need to come over here to this lock button and unlock it. Now, when I do this, it will allow me to change that ratio and basically do anything that I want to this image. However, it's helpful a lot of times to have a very specific ratio when cropping an image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this back on and I'm gonna change this to one by one. If we were shooting something for Instagram and we needed to have a ratio that was square, I'm gonna switch this to one by one. This is gonna help me get the image exactly how I want it. If I have a client that wants to print this image five by seven, I'm going to need to resize this image five by seven. Now, right now you can see this is messed up. We have a horizontal image and a vertical crop. If I wanna change that, I just need to pull on this edge down this way. So I can come up here and I can pull on this edge down this way, and that's gonna flip that crop for me. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to drag this image out, and you can see here, cropping five by seven, you're gonna lose some width your image. This is helpful as a photographer when you're taking photos. If a client is going to use something like a four by five image and print it eight by 10, it's helpful to know that. If you were to shoot with your subject edge to edge or full frame, you're going to lose part of that important subject. It also changes the flow and the movement in an image. You'd be surprised a composition where it works really good two by three might not look so good four by five. A lot of times as a photographer, knowing this beforehand, how you're gonna use that image is gonna be very, very helpful. One of the things that I've run into in years is I do a lot of stuff for redesign of web pages. And what I'll do here is I'll just manually slide this. And they have these sliders that are like really long and narrow. So when I'm taking photos, I have to keep in mind this is my whole image, but the area that I'm going to use is only going to be this like little teeny tiny area. So I have to be able to picture or view that in my head through the camera that this is what I need in that end product. What we're going to do is we're going to just switch back to as shot and we will come back here. Now, one important thing to know when you are changing the ratio, you are not sizing your image. If I was to come here and change this to five by seven, I'm not changing the image size to five by seven. I'm just changing the ratio, not the image size. There's a difference between image size and image ratio. Down here, we can enter a custom number. So I can say enter custom. And if I wanna do something weird, so we'll do an aspect ratio of one by five. And then I'll hit okay. And now it's gonna give me a one by five ratio if that's what I needed to do for this specific image. I'm gonna come here. Here we have a 16 by nine. So this is changing my image ratio to 16 by nine, which is kind of like your HD. So this image would end up going on to YouTube or something like that. 16 by nine is the same ratio. Now, when you're cropping, you can always pull from a drag from an edge. If you drag from an edge, it's only moving at that one point. Anchor is here, but it moves here. Notice this doesn't move. What we're gonna do is we're gonna center this. 
I'm gonna hold my Alt Option key and drag from the same area. And what that does is anchor or scale from the center. So before where it was locking down this area and moving this way, now I'm doing it from the center and all points are moving equally as I hold that Alt Option key, scale or crop my image. Now, when you're working inside of Lightroom, one of the great things about Lightroom is it's completely non-destructive. If I was to come here and crop this image right now, I can always get back that extra information. So let's say I've cropped this image like this, and then all of a sudden my clients are like, no, we've decided we want this as four by five. It's very easy. All you do is crop tool. The rest of your image is still always gonna be there. You switch your crop, you come in here, hold all options, scale from the center a little bit. I'll come in here, I'll crop this image. Once again, bam, just like that, the image is resized. We did not lose any information. We're just changing the image ratio, and we're just seeing this as a four by five crop. We're not resizing the image and deleting the old data. That old data is always there. The last thing that we're gonna take a look at here is we're gonna go back into the crop tool and you'll notice there's a little angle thing here. So you notice this is off a little skew. So this point is a little lower than this. If we want to align something and make sure a horizon line or something is straight, we have two, a couple of different ways to do this. So I can go outside of my crop box. You'll notice that it turns to this little kind of radius angle. If I click and hold and then drag, it is rotating my image. Hit Command Z to undo that. I can also come here and use this slider to do the same thing. Or you can click on the level, and then what it will allow you to do is come in here, I'm gonna drag a line from this point to this point. So I'm gonna click, hold, drag, across here, let go. By applying that line, I'm saying this is the area that I want to be completely straight, and now this image is perfectly level. And then if you don't like what you did, you can always just reset everything and go back to the beginning. And that is basically how you use the crop tool side of Lightroom Classic. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.